Merry Meet, everyone. Adeline Carthese is here, and I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos, people showing off their altars, and I kind of would like to do the same. <laughs> um, in my experience, I don't think there's really a right and wrong way to do it. You do it the way that you feel is right and whatever is drawn to you. A lot of people tend to put that altar on the east side because they think that is the most correct that's the way it has to be. But in actuality, it really doesn't have to be there. It could be whichever section you feel more drawn to, either your fire or your water or air. Mine is actually on the north side. I am very into the earth. I'm going to show you how my altar is all set up on that side. So here's my ritual space, my ancestral shrine. I do have an altar there for scrying, but my altar above here, I do have a little garland, little things on there, little postcards I got over the mail. I do have things on the wall. I have the reed. I also have the Wiccan law. I have my old music stand with my book of shadows and my stole that I use for ritual use. This is where I sit or where I kneel. I got this awesome pillow at Target. So here's my altar here, and I'm gonna get closer now to everything that I have on there. So this is the left side of my altar. Right here I have a water bowl. Right on top I have my salt. And you know, I can pinch, stir, all that lovely stuff. Right here, I have some cascarilla powder that I make. I make them out of eggshells. I have a video on how to. This was my mother's. It's from India. I'm not sure where she got it. I'm sure it's from a thrift store. I love this thing. This has been in my family ever since I could remember, so she passed it down to me. Right here, I have a little thing symbolizing the tree of life, something I am totally obsessed with. Now this is just some sad wind stuff that I put on here. My little witch's hat. I put a little tea light under there and it lights up. Um, little cauldron. A little witch legs. Sometimes I put stones in here. But for Samhain I put a little candle and it lights up. It looks really nice. Of course my bell. My mother always tells me to pick it up like this. So it doesn't ring. And call things that you don't want them to be invited. This was given to me from a Reddit gift exchange. Um, this is, I love daggers and swords. So, you know, for ritual, I use it. I think it's pretty darn awesome. And of course, it comes with a sheath. I have my sh my chalice over here. I really hope someday to get a Viking drinking horn to replace this one, but I've been using this one for quite a few years. It's very nice. Move this a little bit this way now. This is my pendulum. Amethyst. I'm a February baby. And I love everything purple and amethyst. My representation of the goddess. Which is absolutely gorgeous. I found this in a very good sale. And apparently they go for a little bit more online. My altar tile. Goddess candle. My ancestor candle. Right here, I got this from a Reddit gift exchange as well. A four, look at that. Kind of cool, right? Let's see if it'll go back. Uh -huh. I have my god candle right here. God representation. And then I have these lovely stones here. Amethyst. I also have 
I got this for Christmas. Well, for you all, actually, from a, one of my best friends. Here's more stones here. I have this circlet here that I use for ritual. My athame is also here. I always have it hidden in this black cloth here. I'm hoping to get a furba, but that's down the line. This is a Mongolian one that I got. There's an awesome store where I live called Lucy's Emporium, and I got it there for such a wonderful price. Also, candle snuffer. Go more towards over here. Here I have my wands. We're on the right side now. I've made these. This is my overall your everyday use wand. Have a point. Have a point. My other one, which I like to use, um, it represents water. I'm hoping to make one for all the elements and all the sabbats because I'm insane. A fluorite one that my best friend, that she gave me the amethyst and the unikite. She gave me this as well. A selenite wand. Fellow co-worker gave me this from my old job, which is absolutely amazing. This is a wand that I made. Um, a lot of people love it. I hope to make more. Maybe even sell them, but um, it's a finger wand. They do say you can use your finger to open anything. You know, and so I figured this was very appropriate, so it's very cool. So I also have my offering dish back here. Incense, older, I love elephants, just like my mom. My fan, ritual fan. My cauldron has a triple moon on it. I found who my patron goddess is. It's Isis. I love the Egyptian culture. I've had this for many, many years. My oil burner. Once we get out top, I also have a sensor. I love lighting up incense. And this is also... Um, to put my incense in and store it. Incense sticks. So that's pretty much everything on my altar there. I have everything and anything under the sun that I need. And then I have on my windowsill a few extra things that I might need. So that's my altar set up in a nutshell. Like I said earlier, there is no wrong or right way. You do what feels right to you. Like, I've heard people telling me that my ritual dagger is incorrect. My alfame is incorrect because it doesn't have a black handle. Ooh. No, it doesn't really matter. You can get any alfame that you want, that you are attracted to, that you feel powerful with. It's you. It all starts with you. With that said, merry meet, merry part, and we will meet again. Adeline Carthasius out. Blessed be.